As the gang wakes up at Sun Africa Safari, there's an excitement brewing on this cool morning, and field host Lat Durrance is ready to check off a red hartebeest from his list. He's already had two failed attempts, but Pierre gets word that a herd was spotted on a mountaintop. The red hartebeest is a large antelope with a long face, large chest, and sloping back. It can weigh over 400 pounds, and the unique Z-shaped horns can be as long as 28 inches. Their grass grazers in the higher elevations, and although sedentary most of the time, can run very fast if alarmed. Yeah, now the, yeah, the cow got up. So he's number three from the left now, eh? Hey? Cow's right in front of him. Yeah, cow's right in front of him looking straight at us. Okay, now that one's stepping to the left. Second from the left now, eh? Quartering towards us, don't shoot. It's quartering towards us, you see him left. Oh yes, oh yes, I could beautiful. see that one, yeah, that was the perfect shot. <laughs> <laughs> good spot man, yeah good yeah, call, well done, man. got us right in on it man. Beautiful shooting, congratulations, well done. <laughs> I could see that high shoulder. I cannot say enough about these Hornady. ELDX bullets. I'm telling you, man, those things knock stuff down. I'm telling you. All you got to do is get it close. One shot, one and done, and they drop. <laughs> this is good stuff, man. Well Sun done. Africa Safari, hunting here with Pierre Jr. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's a pleasure, man. Well done. Good shooting. Yes, sir. 500 yards. That's pretty impressive, man. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. We got a good rest at him, and uh, you shot him. I think it was like a high shoulder. Yeah. Drop. Well done. I can still see him shining right there. He hadn't moved. Yeah. <laughs> well Thank you, sir. Let's go check him out. Coming up on the best of the West. One Gimsbach, which is on my list, and then we're looking at Zebra, which was not on my list. But they look pretty good. Any one of those two in the front. Thank you. That was a good one. The Best of the West is brought to you by the Wild Sheep Foundation, Gunbroker.com, Cryptech Camo, The Best of the West Shooting Systems, Defiance Custom Actions, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. This 45,000 acre game reserve has a natural mountainous border and is inhabited by 45 species of game wildlife. This is a harsh, semi-arid environment that the wildlife have adapted to, but for hunters, can be downright painful to navigate through the abundant thornbush. We start the morning glassing the mountainside for any species that's on our wish list.
see you now. It's a female games book. Is it? Long, long, she long one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good games book. Yeah, lad, I mean, we can't go wrong. You're out on the edge of the earth, stark foreign. We can't go wrong with that um, with that zebra on the right hand side. It's a beautiful zebra. We spotted one Gimsbach, which is on my list, and then we're looking at zebra, which was not on my list. But they look pretty good. I was close. I dry fired four times. Perfect. Didn't move. Followed through. Crosshair stayed right there. Never gave us a broadside shot. Wind's picking up. We're going to move on, see if we can get a better shot. The virtual zebra in this area and then also the Cape Mountain zebra on top of the mountains here. The virtual zebra, that's the most common one. They can live basically anywhere. They can live down in the flat here, they can live on top of the mountains. I've seen them in the big stuff, you know. They, so they, they actually do very, very well. You think to yourself, but I'll see it, you know, no problem. That thing's camouflage is, is very good. You know, the, the color black and white is a, is a good camo. I mean, if you look at the zebra, you don't see them that easy. If you're not really worried about stallion or, or any one of those two in the front, they're very, very similar. Eight miles an hour. Take it. That was a good hit. Yes, very good hit. That's a hard hit. That's a good hit. I think he's gonna fall, Lane. He's gonna fall. Yes, go he's going to go down. Oh, he's falling down. There's a death roll. Come on, stay down. Look at that jump. And this is running right now, I'm trying to gather along. Perfect, guys. 600 and whatever. 617. Zebra are tough, man. They are tough. tough. And you got a 14 mile an hour crosswind. Yeah, we had to play with that a little bit. Yeah, man, it was Fantastic. anywhere from a two minute hold to four and a half, almost five minutes, depending on where it picked up. I just dialed my Husqvarna 625 yards and it's calling for three MOA. It worried me a little bit. I had to work the bolt to stay on it. I thought he was going to get away, but zebra are tough. Usually, the behind-the-scenes crew won't ever see the front side of a camera, much less hunt. But on the last day of this 10-day safari, field producer Gary Bowman gets his chance. This former Marine Corps marksman is well acquainted with the best of the West system and Huskamaw scopes. He's been to the range many times and can hit steel at 1,200 yards. I'm just taking care of my fast focus right now, and that way I'm not messing around with okay, having to get it in focus. Once we find one, I want to be able to get down as quick as possible and, and make this shot.
He's after a Gimsbach, and Pierre knows they're in this valley. But spotting them is no easy task because they blend in well with the brush and small trees. Which one? See the one looking straight at us? Yeah, the one on the left. Can, yep, shoot him. I can only see two. Alright, on front, the left, take the him. Front one? Yep. Perfect. Just okay. put one in, just do an easy squeeze, put it right on his shoulder. Keep going, Gary. One on the left, eh? Yep. Wait, wait, so wait. He's pointing right at us. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait for him to turn again, okay? Yep. Keep on him, eh? Okay. Okay, now they're running. Get up here, Kiki. Is it just rising? 475, 475. Okay, just stay on that game stuff, okay? We'll stop again. You still got it, okay? Yeah. Is it broad side now? Yep. Yeah. Maybe it really will. Okay, here we go. Just keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him. He's, he's about uh, 20 yards to the left. And 20 yards down behind the bush. Come to your left a bit. Oh. Just went to lay down. Blood coming out of his nose. Right in the vitals, man. You know where it is. He's gone, my friend. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, well done, oh, Gary. What was that? 475 yards. What was it? 475. <laughs> Good shooting. What a shot. Gims bug down, 475. Thank you, Pierre, for being patient and helping me along the way. <laughs> well done, Gary. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Well done. Beautiful Gims. Wide, tall. You'd like that when you see it. We didn't get it, wasn't easy, but eventually we got a good shot and I was very happy. 475. When you shot him, you could see. It see the movement here and when he turned around I could see the lead, red blood on this side. Nice. So I just went to lay nice. down. So. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man. The Best of the West is brought to you by the Wild Sheep Foundation. 
Gunbroker.com, Cryptech Camo. The best of the West shooting systems, Defiance Custom Actions, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. To book your next South Africa hunt with Sun Africa Safaris, go to their website at www.sun-africa.co.za. For more information about the products and gear used in today's show, please visit LongRangeStore.com or call 1-866-754-7618. We've seen how a steady shooting rest is important to long range shooting and is just as important to follow through as it is prior to the shot. We recommend dry firing if time permits to test your position. Keep your head down and resist the urge to pick your head up. Let the rifle recoil and then come to a rest before moving. The bullet's flight can be affected by poor follow through and it takes practice to resist those natural instincts. Good spotting, man. Good spotting, man. Well done. Man. He just checked it. He's on the movie, man. That's that uh, Best of West Hunter Elite, man. It looks. Good spotting, man. Good wind call. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. That's good. Oh, man, that's going to look so cool on the wall. I've always wanted one of those. Good shot at 740 yards and uh, dropped him in his track. So unbelievable. Uh, yeah, we've been having a couple of good days um, hunting some some different species, big variety of animals in different areas. So congratulations, Let. Yeah, thank you, uh, Pierre. Well done, man. Well done. Thank you. 